So we'll just get going here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, cut myself just a little makeshift tube shank right now. These double-sided razor blades are really great for that. This tube, this one might be three quarters of an inch long to an inch long. Just going to go ahead and cut it. And I'm going to use my adapter here that holds my tube. Get a lighter. I'm actually going to burn a lip on both sides of this. This way you're, you don't have to worry about your thread sliding off the end of it. Slide this back into my vise here. Great. And at this point, I can just start tying like it's a normal hook shank. And attach my eyes on the bottom side, relatively close to the front. I think the, these are medium size, like dazzle eyes. You can use lead eyes or pretty much any dumbbell eye that you've got laying around to do this. I'm just going to take from my body real simple. This is just large holographic tensil. I, you truthfully probably don't even need this step. It just, for me, I think it looks a little bit better. So I do it. When we come up, basically what you'll want to do is leave a gap here that I can get two turns of rabbit to build a collar. If you crowd it, then it's just like any other fly that you tie. It doesn't end up turning out very well. And it seems like two wraps of rabbit seem to build about the best collar. Add just a little flash. I tried to with these. I only put. I, I cut out two strands of flashaboo and then double it over. So I end up only with, you know, four pieces of flashaboo. Try to keep it pretty subtle. Um, I think with our highly pressured rivers in Colorado, too much flash can actually be a deterrent. So if you double these over on your thread like I did and bind it down and, sir, you give me your name again? and bind it down, th that flash will never come out. It'll the fish may eat it to death, but it'll never actually come out of the fly. And this is just a regular rabbit strip. This one happens to be olive barred. Um, it was just the first one I came to this morning. Uh, olive is a great color. We've had really good luck with olive this year. So I'm just going to figure out about how long I want my fly. Pull my hat, my hair apart so I just bind down the, the hide. That way the fly stays, that rabbit stays bounded down a lot better. Yep, have to do it in the post office. 
whoever you'll be with will be in contact with you uh, probably tomorrow afternoon. And I just need to get a credit card number to hold. And then this will just be my collar. And all I'm going to do is kind of basically going to try to fold this rabbit, the hair back as I wrap this forward the best I can. Yeah, just wait till the size 32s come out for the Royal Wolf next. Go ahead and clip the axis. That's it. That's all it takes. It's real simple. Works really, really well. It can be tied in a wide variety of colors. As you can see, it takes all of about five minutes to tie one of these. So you can spin it. You can tie a lot of them really quickly. But that is just a little. Olive tube string leech. We'll go ahead and